Hey everybody, it's Collector Dude. I'm going to do a, a, a flip through of the Marvel um, previews for October for December. Everything's out, uh, coming out in December. Some of these books are out already, but it's just cool to go through the book. I like it. This is King in Black number one that's on the cover here. And I picked this up and got it right here. Uh, I like to get some variants of with the thing in there. Because it's the variant, it's like eight ninety five or something or eight ninety nine on uh, mycomicshop.com, and I saw it Laughing Ogre when I went in there the other day. They had like a, three or four of them, and they were like nine ninety nine. I started to get them. I said, "No, you wait, just wait, and see if I can find some later for a little bit cheaper. And uh, if I can, I'll get some for uh, prizes because I think they're cool. And this story looks like it's going to be good. And I love Ryan uh, Stegman's artwork. Really cool. So, if you haven't read this and everything, um, or if you have read it, let me know. Everything, because it looks like it's going to be good. Just the detail. He drew the whole book, so I'm like, wow, this cat. I compared him to Todd McFarlane years ago, and I think this is it, the style and everything. It's like cartoony and realistic at the same time. Ryan Otley's the same way and everything. Um, but it's just the angles of the muscles and just the, the power and everything, how it looks. Todd was like that. And Ryan Otley's like that. There's a few others that are like that, too. It's just it's, there's some really good artists out there and everything. Humberto Ramos is awesome. But we'll see how Ryan's going to do because, I mean, he did the other books and everything. He's um, been doing Venom and did some of the other Venom books. And now he's doing this. So this is going to be nice. I like Mike, you know, Mike Diodato's my boy, too. So I just like the artwork. Plus, I got this here. This one's for uh, November for December and everything that's they got um king and black on there so it's a big um thing for uh for marvel right now and here's the one for um december for january or well, february i mean so it's like wow but i'll go through those hopefully soon and get through them oh wait a minute this is november for january my mistake not december so this is for december november october for december this is november for january and the other one's um um what did I say it was? December for February. And Nall's on, <laughs> the King in Black is on the cover of all the books, of all of them. So you know it's a popular thing for Marvel right now. It's gonna, and it looks good. It looks like it's going to be a terrifying story. Darkness Reigns, that's what it's saying on there. So let's flip through this and see what books they got coming out. Here's a, here we go with um, He Arrives, Venom number 31. He's ripping the suit off him, wow. Now we got a little preview here. This is cool. Look at that artwork. That's nice. Let's read some of this here. He's here. We can feel him screaming. We can feel him screaming through the black. Race toward the whole racing toward the whole of creation. His hands wrapping around the world's throat. Cap, it's me. This is it. No more running. No more hiding. It's time. No, the Lord of the Abyss, the God of the Symbiotes, has arrived. We got Hop. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, that's really cool. Look at that. Just the angle, the perspective. The hands, the webbing, the Todd McFarlane type webbing, the mouth, look at that, wow. Everybody's getting alerted to looks. The call goes out, all hands on deck. If the plan holds, the evacuation will start any second now. My other can already feel the panic in the air, rising in the air. I sense it trying to calm my nerves as well. But it's not Gnaw that's making me my heart skip. No, that fear will come later. Right now I'm scared of this. Of waking my son up into this nightmare. Dylan's been through so much. He deserves better than this. Deserves to be innocent, to be a child. I wish on every disappearing star in the sky that I could just, just let him sleep. That my son would never have to face the horrors of this world I have brought him into. 
that he would never have to inherit my darkness. Wow. Every parent feels like that. Avengers Mountain, now. Move. Come on, people. It's time. It's go time. Ground teams and evacuation ships are mobilizing in drop sites as we speak. But we are on deck first. Let's get mean, shall we? Tony, where are we? Hard to say, Cap. From the intel that Brock gave us, we know that Null and his symbiote horde don't leave heat signatures. So we don't have an exact lock just yet. But they'll trip over our landmines either way. Is that what we're calling them? Silver linings, Cap. Having a leftover armada of derelict Kree and Skrull warships floating around in upper atmosphere might just give us the edge we need. You just like turning things into bombs. Old habits. Hey, speaking of bombs, any word on the big man yet? Still waiting. I'd say a prayer if I were... Heads up! Good news and bad news, boys. Looks like we found them. Whoa, what's coming? Whoa, look at that. Boom, 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 wham, wham, wham. Bombs blowing up. Closing in, Eddie. Have to hurry. I know. We have to get Dylan to safety before... Arr! Arr! Dad? If I hadn't finally woken him, that would have. That's a hit. Okay, now we're... We were saying... What were we saying about my... Eddie, do you feel it? It wasn't. It didn't work. It took out at least a hundred of them, but it didn't even slow them down. Oh my gosh. Bombs? He can't be stopped. All teams, move, move, move. This is not a drill, people. This is it. This is... Wow. That looks like it's going to be good. King in black, number one of five. Donnie Cates is writing it. Ryan Stegman is doing the art. All the different variants. Look at that. There's one there. The darkness one. Darkness reigns. After a campaign across the galaxy, Nall's death march arrives to, to Earth. And worse yet, he hasn't come alone. With an army of hundreds of thousands of symbiote dra dragons at his command, the King in Black is a force unlike any... Earth's heroes have ever faced. Eddie Brock, a.k.a. Venom, has seen firsthand the chaos that even one of Null's symbiotic monsters can wreck. Will he survive an encounter with the god of the abyss himself? Wow. That's going to be 56 pages there. $5.99. And that's what I got right there. It's a thick book. Man, oh man. Look at this one, King in Black number two. Heroes have just fallen. King in Black number two of five. Hail to the King, it says. 40 pages on that one. Different covers on that. Venom. Here we go, that's number 31 here. We got a variant cover down here. And he must take them over, because I keep seeing the variant covers with all the different heroes with the Null symbol on their chest. So that must be it. Uh, Donnie and, and Ivan Coelho is doing this one, art and cover on Venom. King in Black arrives. What happens to Eddie Brock when he finally comes face to face with the Lord of the Abyss, the King in Black? No. Wow. There's going to be a few of the, I guess, the few of the um, tie-ins. Going to be a lot of them. I see the, uh, the list, checkoff list in the back of the book as well. Symbiote Spider-Man, King in Black, number two of five. Peter David's doing this one in Greg Land. Hmm. Variant covered by Decon Shelby. Spider-Man and the Black Knight must team up to topple... To team up to topple... What? Must team up to topple to an otherworldly... That's weird. Plot that threatens to turn every living thing in the known universe into creatures made of living shadow. Wow. Now we got Black Cat. We got a variant over here. Nullified variant. 
Well, she doesn't have a symbol unless she has it on her head there. Yeah. There's another variant here. Sarah Pacelli there. What's this one's? CF Villa. Okay, no, black cat number one. The cat in black is back. Okay, feeling lucky? Null's attack on Earth interrupts the black cat's latest heist, and if you know it, Felicia, you know that's a problem. So the cat and her crew aim to steal something of, great, of greatest value to both Null and Earth's, Earth's hope of survival. We have to pick up this issue to find out what. This issue guest stars the X-Men, Captain America, and Doctor Strange. Do not miss it. I think I'm going to try to collect them all. I've done it with before with a few other things. I've gotten most of the books, but not all of them. We'll see. If I can collect them all, I will. If I can't, I won't worry about it. I hope that if you don't collect the tie-ins, it doesn't affect the whole book. You know, like you get, say, if it, is it one through six or something like that is supposed to be of this uh, the story did it say? Oh, two or five. Okay, so that's going to be five books in the uh, King and Black series. But I wonder if you have to have the other one. I guess it will help the story. Some stories you don't really have to have them. But maybe you do have to have them with this. We'll see. Okay, this one's King and Black. This one's going to be Iron Man, looks like. What's that, Santa Claus up there? That's weird. Let's see what this is. Okay, let's see what this is. King and Black, Iron Man, Doctor Doom number one. Now, what are they teaming up for here? Christopher Cantwell writing, and Salvador La Roca is doing the art and cover. Variant by Dan Moore. Okay, Iron Man has risked everything to save Eddie Brock, but now he's left with nothing but guilt. As longtime frenemy Doctor Doom shows up with both counseling words and ulterior motives. Look at that. Dell with three L's. They'll be forced to battle an all too familiar specter of the of the holiday season. Albeit one now twisted and controlled by the recent invasion of Earth by the symbiote homeworld. As Iron Man and Doom fight as temporary allies, their unexpected counter encounter with both with each other and a horn, horrifying inversion of Yuletide joy may ultimately reveal to them the true meaning of null mass. Oh, you got to be kidding me. And you got Santa, what's the Santa Claus up there? All possessed and stuff. Weird. Now we got this one. This looks like Immortal Hulk. Yes, it is. King in Black Immortal Hulk number one. Al Ewing still writing. Al Cooter's going to be doing the art. Santa Claus variant by Al Aaron Cooter. Okay. A present for the Hulk, it says. The Hulk is in a bad place. Half of his altars are dead and missing, including Bruce Banner. And the leader, leaders got the rest of him on the ropes. But never let it be said that Joe Fixit doesn't know how to have a good time. And he's out to make sure this is the best holiday the Hulk's ever had. He just has to fight his way through a planet of symbiotes first. Wow. There's one shots there. King in Black, Namor, number two of five. Yeah, this is Kurt Busiek. Hey, I like Kurt, Kurt Busiek's writing. Hopefully he gets back to doing Astro City soon. I'm not sure when he's going to start it again. I know he took a hiatus from that. It would be cool to see him, good to see him come back to that story, or that series. Okay, then we got the young Namor. Udama and Dorma get to, a, get to accompany the Swift Rides on a mission. See them in action, learn from them. Okay, it's just one word in it. But the mission involves Russian alchemist in 1930s, Mur Murmansk, a dangerous mystic relic, and a catastrophe that brings to life the most menacing threat that Atlantis has ever faced. Now all of undersea civilizations and civilization is imperiled, and only three youngsters can save it. Okay, wow. Now we got Atlantis Attacks number 505. King in Black tie-in, Greg Peck. Is doing the writing. Ario Anandidi. Ditto is doing the art. That's cool. He's fighting some type of symbiote there. As the clash between the Atlanteans 
the Serenans, Serenas and the interdimensional pan reaches its terrible climax, an empire will triumph and an empire will fall. Hmm. Okay, now we got this. That's a nice cover. King and Black Namor number one. The Variant down there by Corey Smith. Kurt Busiek's right now one too. They got them all different. So, yeah, then they had two over here and then one over here. That's weird. So we got uh, Spinning Out of King and Black Epic comes a dark, chilling story of the birth of Atlantis' greatest villains. The players Namor, Lady Dorma of Atlantis, this, the outsider of Atuma, all still in their teen years, and the Swift Riders, the, the Atlantean Empire's greatest heroes. That'll be cool. I wonder if they all will be good, if all the tie-ins will be good. So we got, what do we got here? This is the Union, number one. That's cool. What if that's the first appearance of these guys? Her, I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm not sure if he's been around before or not. I know Captain Britain. Peter Christ, Paul Christ, and Andrea DeVito doing the art. And Christ is doing the writing. Bunch of variants. King and Black tie-in. The grand unraveling, unveiling of the Union. A team of superheroes gathered from all over the United Kingdom featuring Union Jack Snakes Kelpie, Choir, and the fearless leader, Britannia. That's her name. But when Gnaw and his dragons attack Earth, the fledging team is immediately pushed to their limits. Okay. Britannia, that's cool. Looks like a combination of Wonder Woman and uh, Captain America type thing. Cool. Now we got Spider Woman. Spider Woman number seven. Okay, we have Carla Pacheco and Perry Perez working on that one. And a few other variant covers. Hidden Gem by George Perez. Cool. Let me see what else. Abandoned by her friends, there's only one person who comes to Jess's aid. Octavia Vermis. She's got a cure for Jessica, and the prescription is crime. Under the cover of the Null Invasion, Spider-Woman is stealing elements of a cure to her condition. Or is she? Hmm. Now what I got here? Null. Marvel Tales number one. Written by Donny Cates. Now what is this? And then you got a King and Black graphic comic box. It's a short box. So it's all going to fit in there. That'd be cool. Uh, this one's Null. God of the Symbiotes will haunt your nightmares as we celebrate the legacy of the House of Ideas with Marvel Tales. This anthology series shines a spotlight on fan-favorite characters, features timeless stories, and highlights some of Marvel's most impressive talent from the past eight decades. Now, first superstar creators Donny Cates and Ryan Keck Stegman introduced Null in, a crucial in the crucial chapters of the sensational reinvention of the Venom mythos. In Venom 2018, 3-4, through four, Venom and Miles Morales stand in the way of a symbiote dragon terrorizing Manhattan. Well, what connects it to Null? In Venom, Carnage Born, from Cates and Demillo, Danilo, Byruth, a deadly cult resurrects the serial killer Carnage as an agent of Null. And legendary artist Mark Bagley illustrates Venom's first for survival in Venom 2018, number 25, setting the stage for Null's imminent arrival in the epic king in black 112 pages wow okay that's cool I wonder if those books will go up in price we'll see graphic box here store your treasured collection in sturdy surroundings every bit as exciting as the issues inside featuring action-packed illustrations on all sides from some of comics finest artists marvel's graphic comic boxes will star all your favorite universe favorites continuing with king in black Wow. Pressure. Preserve, preserve your comic collection with Marvel's graphic comic boxes. That looks cool. What are those? About $15 each? What's that say? King and Black. Uh, they, the boxes come in bundles of 50 for... Uh, five, bundles of 5 for 50 bucks. So they're about $10 each. But I think they usually charge about 15 bucks for them when you get them at the store. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that might be like a retail 
suggested retail price. Hmm. Okay, now we got, and see they got um, Thor or Hulk on the side. Okay, what do we got here? This one, King in Black. This will be the last one for this video. I don't want it to go too long. King in Black Handbook, number one. Michael Sullivan and the Oho, Oho, Ohatmu team was doing a writing. Cover by Ron Lim. Cool. Let's see. This is uh, as the Dark Null King Null descends on the Marvel Universe, the official handbook turns its focus to all things symbiote with this new collection of profiles. This issue covers not only symbiote hosts such as Venom, Eddie Brock, Carnage, Cleetus Cassidy, and Lee Price, but also characters whom symbiotes have affected. Victoria Montesi, Ghost Spider, Gwen Stacy, Dylan Brock, and Anne Wying. Plus a profile of Null, the King of Black himself, and from the pages of Thor, the All Black, the first symbiote. Cool. So, okay, we'll stop it there. But let me know what you think, what you guys are going to be getting. This looks pretty interesting, everything. Hopefully you like that and everything. Let me know, like I said, let me know what you're going to be getting. I think I'm going to be picking up all the, at least all the issues of the uh, King in Black because that looks very interesting. This stuff looks cool too. I'll have to like flip through it at the uh, comic book store if I see it and see if I want to pick it up or not. Like I said, but like I said, you get one of these and the whole series, you put it in that box. That'd be cool. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. You guys have a great day and Collect the Dude is out.